Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Feed the Beast Revelation 2, which is a complete rehaul of the Feed the Beast Revelation pack. This overall adds in about 30 new mods and libraries to the existing list of mods, and this brings the total up to 218 according to the mod pack splash screen. This makes a giant pack even more gigantic. So with this we have some fun new mods that have been added and some of that have been removed due to instability, which is unfortunate because one of those is Nuclear Craft, which I really enjoyed. I did want to mention that you have to create a new world save due to all the changes that have occurred between versions 1 and versions 2. So I'm going to make a new world now and we can then get started with the episode. So you can pause and see the seed that I've randomly created and also I'm going to leave the biomes as default because that will provide us with the most diversity. All right, we're done. So I'm going to generate the world and then come back when it finishes. All right, while this is finished loading, I'm going to do a little more explanation. So let's get down to this episode, which I wanted to explore all of the mods that are in this pack. With this list, I will state the mod and also briefly explain a little bit about what's in the mod and what the purpose of the mod is. I'll also be skipping the libraries and menu type mods because I don't think that you care, first of all, and also it has no effect on gameplay directly. And as for libraries, I will go over the mods that require them, so the various libraries will be expected to be in the pack to support those mods. Also, this will save us a lot of time not explaining each library. And while I go through this list, I'm just going to do normal day one Minecraft stuff. Okay, so to the mods. Up first, we have actually additions. And this mod is one that introduces many concepts such as energy systems, tools, farming, and other utilities. The next mod of the list is actually baubles and is a companion mod for actually additions that adds the rings, pendants, and other trinkets to boost up effects on your character. Then we have Akashic Tomb. This is a mod that introduces a book that will combine other books and manuals into a single one. Up next is Applied Energistics 2, which is a large storage mod and also the primary storage mod for this pack, introducing a dense storage of items to replace chests. Next we have Architecture Craft, and it is a mod that adds a lot of building additions such as arches, pillars, and other blocks of similar type. Then we have Aromas Mining Dimension, which adds an early game dimension set up specifically for mining. And we have Astral Sorcery, which is a magic based mod that uses astrological star signs to power you up with magical abilities. We also have Bad Wither No Cookie Reloaded, which is a mod that stops server wide sounds from things like the End Dragon, Wither, and even Thunder. Then we have Baubles, which provides an interface for items like amulets, belts, rings, and other jewelry, which is used by other mods. And next we have Bed Patch, which is a minor patch to fix getting stuck in a bed. Then we have Better Advancements, which is a mod that tweaks the vanilla achievement system and adds quality of life improvements to that system. Then we have Better Builder's Wands, which adds additional wands from cheap to expensive that help you build large structures. And we have Bibliocraft, which is an aesthetics mod that provides a plethora of furniture that looks good and also is functional. Then we have Benny's Mods, which includes several different mods like Benny's Core, Benny's Botany, Benny's Extra Bees, Benny's Extra Trees, and Benny's Genetics. And all these add additional bees, trees, and ways to adjust their genetic makeup. Then we have Block Craftery, which is an aesthetics mod that includes different shapes beyond the standard ones to vanilla blocks. Up next is Blood Magic, which is actually new to this pack in version 2 and is now stable for version 1.12 of Minecraft. This mod adds several different magic abilities and it's based on the use of blood as a cost. Then we have Botania, which is a tech mod, which also includes magic elements such as mana and is used to power other blocks through lenses. Next we have Career Bees, which is a mod that adds even more bee species that can complete tasks such as collecting bees, which pick up items that are dropped nearby their territory. Then we have Chest Transporter, which is a mod that introduces a tool to pick up chests and other containers while retaining the contents inside of them. Then we have Chisel, which is an aesthetics mod that introduces hundreds of blocks that are created by the Chisel tool. Then we have Chisel and Bits, which is another aesthetics mod that allows the breakdown of the original 64 bit blocks into even smaller bits, allowing them for custom shapes. 
We also have Clumps, which is a mod that simply adds clumps of experience orbs on the ground into a single group. And next we have Compact Machine, which is a mod that adds the ability to take large block systems and bring them down to a single block. Then we have Compact Solar Arrays, which is an add-on for industrial craft that will provide compact versions of those solar panels. Then we have Compactor, which adds a block that takes an input and outputs either a 2x2 two two version or a 3x3 three three version of that same block. Then we have Constructs Armory, which is an add-on to Tinker's Construct, which introduces armor types and armor mods. Up next we have Cooking for Blockheads, which is a mod that adds a kitchen and some food crafting improvements into the game. Then there's Craft Tweakers, which is a mod that changes recipes and the names and other customizations to crafting. Then we have Connected Textures mod, which improves how connected textures work within Minecraft. We have a uh, Dank Null, which is a mod that introduces an upgradable portable storage system that also functions as a trash can. We also have Dark Utilities, which is a mod that adds several utilities and blocks into the game that provide a bunch of quality of life improvements. Then we have Deep Residence, which is a mod that adds a power generation system from blocks that you get while mining. We also have Diet Hoppers, which modifies the way vanilla hoppers look and work. We also have Dirt to Path, which visually changes dirt blocks into path blocks by right clicking them with a shovel. Then we have Draconic Evolution, which is a massive endgame mod that introduces a lot of endgame features. Up next is Embers, which is another mod that introduces mobs, energy, and other various types of blocks. And next we have Ender IO, which is newly added to this mod pack and updated for version 1.12 of Minecraft. This is a much beloved mod which adds a lot of different machine blocks, energy production, and its most famous feature is the transportation system which combines liquids, items, energy, and even redstone into a single conduit. Next we have Ender Storage which adds linked chests, tanks, and bags that share the same inventories based on a color system. And we have Engineer's Doors which uses materials from immersive engineering and adds different types of cosmetic doors. We have Engineer's Workshop Reborn, which is a mod that adds storage, crafting, and smelting into a single block. Up next we have Environmental Tech, which is a mod that adds various multi-block energy production structures. We also have ET Lunar, which is an add-on to Environmental Tech, and it adds a lunar panel version of their solar panels, which produces energy at night. Up next is Exchangers, which is a mod that adds many different types of exchangers, which will replace a block that's already placed in the world with one from your inventory, exchanging them. Then we have Extra Cells 2, which is an add-on to Applied Energistics, and it introduces even bigger storage cells for that mod. Up next is Extreme Reactors, which is a mod that adds a power generating system of blocks that provide various kinds of power and also requires a lot of regulation. Then we have Fast Workbench, which is a mod that improves the performance of vanilla workbenches. We also have Fence Jumper, which is a mod that allows players to jump over fences, but not NPCs. We also have Flat Colored Blocks, which adds more cosmetic blocks into the game that are mostly of a single color. Then we have Flux Networks, which is a mod that adds wireless energy distribution and transportation. We have Foam Fix for Minecraft, which adds an optimization and performance improvements to the original game. Then we have Forestry, which is a very large mod pack and a very old one that adds a lot of variety of energy producing blocks, farms, trees, bees, and more. We also have FTB Utilities, which adds world changes to your server or single player game, such as chunk loading and zone claiming. Then we have Gadgetry Machines, which adds machines and tools to the game that are very simple in nature. Next we have Gendistry, which is a mod that provides genetic manipulation machines for bees and trees. And we have Immersive Engineering, which adds large multi-block structures that serve to represent real-world versions of things like furnaces, presses, and other machines that are in Minecraft. Next we have Immersive Petroleum, which is an add-on mod to Immersive Engineering, and it adds oil and pumps in the style of its parent mod. And next we have Industrial Craft, which is a very large mod that is older as well, and it adds all manner of devices that perform many different tasks, such as power production, crafting, smelting, and many more, and it runs on the famous EU or Energy Unit. 
Then next we have Industrial Foregoing, which is a mod that is that reimagines the old Mind Factory Reloaded mod. It also introduces a variety of blocks that automate many of the repetitive tasks you do in Minecraft. We also have Industrial Wires, which is a mod that adds more wires to immersive engineering and industrial craft, improving aesthetics. And we have Iron Backpacks, which is a modular portable storage device that you can equip to increase your carrying capacity. We also have Iron Chests, which is similar to Iron Backpacks, but it adds more variety and capacity to the standard chests. Then we have Just Enough Items, which is a mod that provides recipes for various blocks and items, helping to speed up crafting. Then we have Journey Map, which is a mini-map that allows the player to place waypoints and travel without fear of being lost. We also have Klee Slabs, which improves the slabs within vanilla Minecraft in a variety of ways. We have Longfall Boots, which adds a singular item by that same name, which eliminates fall damage. Then we have Lost Cities, which is an extensive mod that introduces a new world that resembles a derelict post-apocalyptic city. We also have Magic Beads, which adds new bees that produce wax for magic-based mods like Thumbcraft and Botania. They have more overlays, which provides improved interfaces to light levels and chunk boundaries. We have Morpho Tool, which is a mod that allows you to combine multiple mod tools into a single one, unless you alternate between them. Then we have Natura, which is a mod that adds additional trees and plants into the game. We also have Nature's Compass, which provides you with a method to find specific biomes using a compass. There's also Nether Portal Fix, which is a fix for vanilla nether portals. We also have X Nice X, which is an aesthetics mod that provides particle blocks and an alternatively shaped glass. We have Not Enough Wands, which adds additional wands that allow you to perform different tasks such as teleportation. Then we have Open Blocks, which adds a wide variety of blocks and items into the game, perform a lot of different tasks. We also have Open Computers, which is a mod that provides you with a computer that simulates real world building and automates various other mods within the game. Up next is Pam's Harvest Craft, which adds a ton of new food and plants into the game. We have Platforms, which is another aesthetics mod that introduces thin blocks that resemble platforms and catwalks. Then we have Project Red, which is a collection of mods that adds various new blocks, lighting, power, and other machines. Then we have Quark, which builds onto the vanilla Minecraft with new blocks from existing vanilla items. We also have Quick Leaf Decay, which quickly decays all the leaves, not connect to a tree or the ground. We also have Ranged Pumps, which is a simple mod that adds a pump that picks up liquid and replaces it with stone. Then we have Reborn Storage, which is an add-on to Refined Storage that provides a multi-block structure that allows you to store recipes used for auto-crafting. Then we have Redstone Arsenal and Redstone Flux, which are add-ons to Thermal Expansion that adds weapons and a power type. And we have uh, Refined Storage, which is a newly added in this version 2 of this mod pack. And it's a large mass storage mod similar to Applied Energistics in that it uses a cell-based storage system and drives. Uh, up next we have Refined Storage add-ons which provides additional features to Refined Storage such as wireless networks. Then we have Reliquary which adds many different items that typically help you in combat versus other mobs. Up next is RF Tools which is a tech mod that adds a lot of different blocks such as screens and elevators. Then we have Roots, which is a magic mod that introduces many new structures into the world. And we have Rustic, which is more of an aesthetics mod that introduces medieval style items and blocks. Then up next is Secret Rooms mod, which adds doors and items that allow you to hide the contents behind or within them. Then we have Signals, which is like routing for rails and minecarts. We also have Simple Void World, which provides a dimension that is just a void world like Skyblocks. And we also have Simple Harvest, which is a mod that simply adds a configuration to allow you to right-click to harvest. And then there's Simply Jetpacks, which is a mod that adds jetpacks for other mods like Ender.io and Thermal Expansion. And there's Snad, which is a mod that adds a single block called Snad, and it's like sand but boosts the growth speed. And we have Soul Shards The Old Ways, which is a mod that adds soul shards based on the older version of that mod, where you kill mobs to fill up the shards. And next we have Steve's Carts Reborn, which is a mod based on the old Steve Carts mod that adds a variety of improvements to vanilla rails and minecarts, including an upgradable minecart. 
Then we have storage drawers, which is a storage mod that introduces drawers of various sizes that can hold stacks of items. And we have Thumbcraft, which is a magic mod that's new to this version of this pack. And it has a lot of features that rival even the biggest tech mods, as well as an interesting progressive system. And we have the One Probe, which adds additional tooltips when mousing over items, especially complex tech based machines. We also have Thermal Expansion Mods, which is a group of mods that adds a variety of tech blocks and tools and vastly improves automation of everyday Minecraft tasks. Then we have Thuts Elevators, which adds an elevator block and features that allow you to travel vertically. We also have Tinker's Construct, which is a mod that adds a lot of variety of tools and weapons and includes mods for them. Next we have Tinker's Tool Leveling, which is an add-on to Tinker's Construct, which adds a leveling progression system to the tools you create. Up next is Torchmaster, which adds a super torch that prevents mobs from spawning in a large radius around it. Then we have Translocators, which is a mod that adds a transport pipe system for liquids and items. We also have Traverse, which is a mod that adds extra biomes to the vanilla world generation, expanding in its diversity. Then we have XNet, which adds a network cable with a lot of customization and routing options. We also have Xtones mod, which adds a large amount of cosmetic blocks into the game. And finally we have Yaba, which is yet a better barrel alternative, which adds a barrel system which stores a large amount of items within them. So that is the extremely large list of mods included in, this, in the new and improved version 2 of Revelations mod pack. I'm excited to get back into Revelations and start building again, especially with the addition of some old favorites like Domcraft and Ender.io, which have been missing in version 1 of this mod pack. Well, that ends this episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.